Hi everyone, I'm here with problem 3.10 from Young and Friedman's University Physics textbook. Let's get started. A daring 510 Newton swimmer dives off a cliff with a horizontal leap as shown in figure E 3.10. What must her minimum speed be just as she leaves the top of the cliff so that she will miss the ledge at the bottom, which is 1.7 meters wide and nine meters below the top of the cliff. So we have a diagram right over here in the bottom right corner that illustrates this problem. And we see this diver right over here, right over here, she's running at some speed V naught and we don't want her to hit this ledge. What the trajectory of her motion is going to look like is this. So we want it to just surpass this 1.75 meter ledge. And we want to know what speed does she need to be running at so that she misses, just misses the ledge. Okay, so looking at this traje trajectory, we know that there's two components to this motion. And there's going to be an X component, and there's going to be a Y component. And the X component, we know, is there's no acceleration. It's just going to be she's running at some V naught. And some other associated parameters would be um, distance and time, right? And for the Y component, I'm just going to write that, or I'm going to highlight that in a different color just so that we get our idea. In the Y component, we actually have more than just um, V naught. So we have our, um, well, she's going to be starting at this point. And she's just going to be in free fall from the Y from the Y perspective. And I'm just going to highlight that color code that in. So just like that, she's going to be um, in free fall. And the variables associated with, it, with this are going to be V naught because she's going to start at some initial speed. And that's zero meters per second, right? She's going to be accelerating due to gravity, which is negative 9.80 meters per second squared. She's going to be um, reaching here at some VF. We're not really sure if we need that, but we'll just write that down for now. She's going to, it's gonna take her some time T to reach the bottom right over here. And then she's also going to be traveling at, um, she's gonna be traveling the distance 9.00 meters, right? We don't know. But one thing that we can actually use to connect these problems together is to recognize that at this point when she reaches, when she reaches the end of the ledge, then she's going to take some time t to reach here, which means that it's going to take her the same amount of time in the x component as well. So this the T right over here and this T are going to be the same because even though we have two different components, it's one trajectory, it's one um, quote unquote motion, right? And because these times are the same, we can actually use the time and work our way backwards to get V naught because we know that V naught is equal to distance over time. And I'm just going to go over why these two V naughts are different. So we have to remember that, um, so we have to remember that the reason why these two V naughts are different is because when she's going to be running, um, she's going to be in free fall in the Y component, but in the X component, she's not accelerating. So if she's in free fall, Vy naught is going to be equal to zero meters per second, but V naught X is going to be some speed X. I mean, sorry, it's going to be some speed. So we're going to say that that's um, V naught X meters per second. We don't know what that is yet, but looking at this, we can recognize because the Y component is zero, we can just say that V naught is equal to V naught X because there is no Y component to it. And so let's go ahead and solve for this t right over here. And then we can use that to find v naught x or v naught as we just discussed. So which kinematic equation can we use to get these four pieces of information? 
because we need we need three pieces of information and we're looking for a fourth. So we're trying to find time. And the equation that I'm going to be using is D is equal to V naught T plus half of, plus half of, sorry, just gonna check if I'm muted or not. No, not muted, okay. Half of V naught T squared. And I'm just gonna plug in my values. And I noticed this is V naught is equal to zero. So distance is equal to half of negative 9.8 times t squared. And that's going to be 9. Sorry, I should have plugged that in originally. Nine. And the t value that I get is plus minus 1.355526 seconds. So that's the time that I'm getting. So it takes her 1.355 seconds to read from the top to the bottom, which means that this is the time that she's going to take to cross this ledge. So v naught x is equal to v naught is going to be the distance over the time that it takes. So we know that the distance is 1.75 meters. And the time this takes is 1.355 seconds. It can't be negative seconds, right? So we're going to take the positive answer, we're going to take the positive time. And we get v naught is equal to 1.29 meters per second. And that is our final answer. That is our final answer. So what must her minimum speed be just as she leaves the top, the top of the cliff so that she'll miss the ledge at the bottom? Well, V naught, the, the minimum speed she needs to run at is 1.29 meters per second. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or send me an email that I include below. If this video is helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Thank you.